Hi, I'm Mel, Head of Education at Illamasqua. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking foundation shades, specifically undertone, which at the best of times can be quite confusing and actually really differs from brand to brand. I'll introduce you to the three undertones that we have for skin base and beyond foundation. And I'll also give you some hints so that you can find out what undertone you might be so that you can shop really easily on our website or even use our foundation finder. Now, Skin Base and Beyond Foundation actually come in the same shades, but they have different numbering systems. So if you know what shade you are in one of our foundations, then head over to the blog on our website and we'll be able to tell you what you would be in the other one. At Illamasqua, we have three different undertones, golden, rose, and neutral. Now, before I take you through them, I wanna give you five tips that is really gonna help you choose the perfect foundation shade for you. First, look at your skin on your neck and chest, as well as your face. Sometimes these can be different colours and ideally you want your face and your body to be the same colour. That will also help you avoid the dreaded foundation jawline mark. Second, look at your skin with no makeup on and also take time to consider whether you're somebody that uses fake tan on a regular basis or maybe you've caught the sun recently and your skin is a different colour to what it is normally. Third is the veins on your wrist. So I'm going to take you through this as we go through the undertones, but this can be a real telltale sign as to what shade you might be. Fourth is jewellery. Now this isn't the jewellery that you prefer, it's the jewellery that looks better on your skin. So for example, I love gold jewellery, but I just find that silver lights up my skin in a different way. And lastly is the fifth one. How does your skin react in the sun? Are you somebody that skin burns the minute it sees the sun's rays? or do you tan beautifully and with ease? Take time to think about these things as I go through the different undertones now. Let's start with golden, which can also be described as cool or olive toned. People with a golden undertone might find that the veins in their wrists have a more blue green color. And they might also find that silver jewelry just really enhances their skin tone. Now I've swatched four skin based shades that have a golden undertone. We have a 6.5, which is a shade I always wear, but we also have an 8.5, a 12 and a 17. And above them, I've dotted some rose tones just so you can see the difference. The goldens essentially have a little bit more yellow in them compared to the warm. Now, depending on whether you're light, medium or dark skinned, golden undertones may find that their skin tans with ease in the sun. Rose undertones are the complete opposite and they can be described also as warm or pink. They basically have a little bit more red in them. People with a rose undertone might find that the veins in their wrists have a more blue purple color to them. And they might also find that gold jewelry really sits beautifully next to their skin. Now I've swatched four shades of skin base that are all rose toned. We have five, eight, 11 and 16. And above for comparison, I've dotted on some of the golden shades. Again, depending on whether you're light, medium or dark skinned, People with a rose undertone might find that they need to be careful in the sun. So now we come to our last undertone, which is neutral. This is the perfect mix of both golden and rose. It's neither overly warm or overly cool, and it could also be described as beige. Those with a neutral undertone might look at their wrists and see blue, green, and purple in their veins. And when it comes to jewelry, they can wear both gold and silver. It would always look good against their skin. Now I've swatched four shades of skin base that all have a neutral undertone. We have six, nine, 13, and 15. And above I have dotted a rose and golden undertone for comparison. Now when it comes to their skin in the sun, those with a neutral undertone might need to be a little bit careful, but eventually they could develop a really lovely tan. Now I just wanna put a special mention for anybody that might have redness or rosacea on their cheeks. It might be really easy for you to assume that you're more of a rose undertone, but in this instance, it might actually be better for you to go for a golden undertone. And the reason for this is the yellow in these shades will help to counteract the warmth and the redness that you have in your skin. Now, if you need any more help when it comes to choosing the right foundation shade, we have our foundation finder on our website, but we also have complimentary virtual consultations where you can speak one-on-one -on -one with an Illamasqua makeup artist. 